I should probably get back to the kitchen. Rush hour should be starting any time. Is there really a rush hour? Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> of course, that doesn't mean to get a crowd or anything, but it's still a rush for me. Seems like you're happy here. I like seeing that, bud. I've got a kitchen and plenty of places to hide. I'm doing just fine. But I do miss my ship. The Mantis misses you too. Yeah, sure, I'll bet it does, the way you fly. Get out of here, it's almost rush hour. Huh. Now, where to start? Doing good, Grease? Did, not now. I get the feeling monks secretly turn this place from pylons to monks. Going behind my back, trying to make my masterpiece into his masterpiece. Whatever, I gotta figure out what he changed, if he changed anything. Did he really stand up to that mean mug with the regenerating limbs? His limbs regenerate? <laughs> That's right. There's all sorts of mean critters on Kobo, but every one of them would run for the hills after one look at Rabus. But you stood your ground, Cal. Probably wasn't the smartest move, but it felt right. You know what you fight for, and you're not afraid of a challenge. Am I that easy to read? Nah, but I know a fighter when I see one. And the valley could use more of your like. I'll try not to pick too many fights. Mm-hmm. I'll believe it when I see it. I'll look after things while you're gone, Cal. That's right. The outpost is under our watchful eyes. Easy there, cowboy. Cal, did you find the spot I was telling you about? Yeah, actually. Thought you might be telling tales. I would never lie to you. I'm gonna hold you to that. Okay, but you're gonna be disappointed. Don't worry about this place, Cal. I have everything under control. Did you choose that paint job for the Stinger Mantis? Or was that Grease? It's a little flashy for my taste. Hey, when you're the galaxy's most wanted, you might as well go out in style. The Mantis has gotten us out of more scrapes than I can count. She could do with more regular maintenance, but... I couldn't ask for a better ship. Then she lives up to her name. If I were you, I'd ride that thing until the thrusters fell off. That's the plan. We're ready when you are, Cal. Let's get a move on. Copy that. Barkeep. You look tired. Take a load off. What kind of clientele you get here? One dusty prospector after another hoping to strike it rich on old tech or priorite. Sometimes I wonder why I bother. Anyone with real credits to spend leaves Kobo in a hurry. And at least they're less likely to die in here than out there. You should write that on the side of the saloon. Careful out there, sport. Seems plenty of sinister fellows are coming out of the woodwork these days. See you later, monk. You're back. Guess you're not dead. Hope you weren't placing any bets. Please. It'll take more than cutting down that chump Zeke to impress me. Take down a real killer. Then maybe I'll wager a credit or two. So what'd you do before you came here? I used to perform in a medicine show. I was required to dress in garish outfits and read fortunes while others would scam the audience. That sounds a little demeaning. Yes. But the experiences we carry always have a use, Sojourner. When I arrived on Kobo, I noticed a charlatan trying to swindle someone with fool's priorite. How'd you know? He wore long sleeves in the heat. Sleight of hand, huh? I saw a merchant on Karelia do that. An old trick. Well, I stopped the sale. And Doma has been grateful ever since. And the swindler? Tried the trick on the Raiders, so I hear. And sealed his fate. Now is not the time to speak. Let's see here. I know you like this one, buddy. This one. 
Hey, glad you both found Pylons all right. <laughs> Thanks again for the invite. Name's Ash Javi, by the way. I'm Cal. This is BD1. Eh, you didn't tell me what a dive this place would be. This saloon has wonky acoustics, weirder customers, and a barely functional refresher. It's perfect. Can't wait to hear what you've got. Pretty sure Grease's old jukebox predates the High Republic. We got you, Cal. Hit up DDEC if you want to hear anything specific. I will. Thanks. Hit me up if you hear any good valley sounds, all right? You got it, Ash. I know what you are, for what it's worth. Do you know? Sure. The way you carry yourself. That saber on your belt. I won't say anything, of course. Why not? The bounty could be your ticket off-world. But I've already told you enough about my past business to land me in an Imperial intake yard. Guess I'll have to settle for honor among outlaws. Look, I know what it's like to have a losing streak tied around your throat. And I respect anyone who keeps fighting even when the chips are down. You're a hard man to read, Moran. Then, as they say, i am still got it. Not now, barkeep. you came around to it. Hey, let me make a fetching first impression. Have a mind to get a third scrubbing. Cleaning the filter, you think someone tried to crab a moss through a set? Oh, cannot hear that. so afraid they just look out for themselves. What was it like back then? Ah, uh, once I was running an errand for Master Cree, very time-sensitive business. I moved with such haste, I blew off my motivator. I was perfectly aware and completely immobile. Most embarrassing. How'd you get moving again? By chance, a friendly bystander diagnosed my predicament and graciously installed a replacement. That's generous. Out here, they'd probably scrap you for parts. How'd you repay them? I didn't. I never saw him again, but weeks later, I was able to help someone else. A chain of kindness kept the Republic going. For a while. Cal, I don't want to be that droid, but Canada won't discover itself. Seeing these High Republic ruins with my own eyes... How do you go back to the Academy after that? Not something I expected to hear from a historian. I didn't expect it either. Originally, I couldn't wait to wall myself into a library. Why visit one dig site when you could read about 30, right? So what made you decide to leave? It is hard to describe, but the more I learned, the more I wanted to get my hands dirty and live it. Not just read about it on a calf-stained terminal, you know? Take care out there, Cal. You too. You scrapping anything useful out here? Tons. As soon as something breaks with the Raiders show face, folks abandon their projects. So Kobo's a gold mine for scrappers like us. <laughs> Got that right. Uh, let's chat later. You stay away from Ivis too, you hear? Maybe he forgot about the fake tuner I tried to sell him. Not likely.
radar activity these days. How are you two holding up? Us? Yeah, we're fine. We're always fine. It's the others I worry about. Oh, hold on. Oh, hello there again, Cal. It is good to see you. You too. Is this the home you were talking about? Correct. Within there are some... possessions. I don't suppose they will need them anymore. So feel free. Look around. Are you sure? I have no need for them. For your help, I insist. Stomach, Scuba? Hey, I kind of succumb to the passions of the stomach. The carpon must land. I'd better get me mind off it. Now spin your tail. Where are we? Ah, yes. By virtue of my prodigious fishing talents, I was taken to see the mysterious one they call Undun. I can see it still. We Scuba ushered into young black mouth. I could barely make out the figure, glinting with moonlight. I scrubbed my eyes, like a, a old tar scrubbing the deck. And there she was, a vast creature. Great tentacles blooming from her blubber, like cables gorging on a fuel tank. One of the tentacles twitched into the air, just over my head. And then, wham! Right on the noggin, so I'm told. I staggered out the cave like a lover first acquainted with a neck. But something else happened. I think, when that fell tentacle struck me, Undun took something straight out to my brain and put something else in. She put something in your brain? Aye, boy. The subtle art of catching a fish. The art of focus. And in the dark, with nothing but the bristles on your chin for company. That focus is special. From that day forward, when I plunge my line into the frigid waters, it would emerge with a fish. In three times out of seven. That's less than half. My marriage told me that I'd be the one to save them from the great fish famine. Little did I know that the grapnel was soon to arrive on our shores. Gonna assume that's a bad thing. Perhaps I and perhaps not. But that'll be a story for another time. There you are. 
You know your way around Kobo, don't you? Let's go, BD. You do that? Wait, what? No! Got it. in this meditation chamber. Welcome, Jedi. The Force teaches us that what our eyes see and our hands touch is not always the truth of the world. The world bends to the will of the Force. As such, it may also bend to you.
get this data disk back to Z. I'll do this course as many times as it takes. Little more. Ugh. You must be strong for the task ahead. Ugh. Careful. I haven't trained like this since I was a Padawan. Keep going. It'll be over soon. We can hope.
Let's keep moving, buddy. This has been here. Your belly aching, Leo. Let me see it. Shoot. That ain't gonna heal. Sorry, hun. Not your day. Way of the world, Leo. Rather you in the ground peaceful than someone's dinner. Easy, Neko. I just saved your fool life. Who are you anyway? I'm Turgle. Well, if you won't keep breathing, you best follow me. This is raider territory. Quit complaining. I'm almost done. <laughs> there. Good as new. Whoo, what a wingspan. I see why they call you gliders. But you could fly around all the Kobo, couldn't you? Okay, off you go. Don't be a stranger. Here we go.
What a show! Come here, my warrior friend! I haven't seen such fighting since the championship. We are in your debt! What are you doing out here? We were out looking for the biggest, strongest beasts to fight each other! Winner take all! Within our Hollow Tactics game table, of course. Hollow Tactics, huh? That's right! And you have just helped us gather beastly data for our game. Just as soon as we find a place to set up shop, of course. My friend might be interested. He runs Pylon Saloon. Ah, uh, yes. The saloon at Rambler's Reach. That dump? I didn't realize it was open. Well, tell you what. We're more than happy to bring hollow tactics to Pyloons. Good liven up the place. Let us make haste, Tully Moon. All things in their own time, Bima. See you around. Stim, that 
do the trick? Damage. 
Initiate belligerence. Autumn! Autumn! Prepare yourself! Time is up! You're starting to kick me out! Let's do this! You're not supposed to be here. Yeah, he does. More importantly, he's standing in the way of my survival. That is less relevant.
You're so dead. Stop fighting. I'm to fight you. Hey, BD1! Tracking the enemy! Low high delivery! Lowering expectations! Taking the shot! Fight together. I am programmed to kill you. Ready to go. Let's look. Let's take a look.
We pledge ours to you. You are wise, Daniil. Tell your dissenters I have no place for them. They opposed me. Now only death remains. Door's not budging.
protocol is for fighting Jedi. Hey, you're new. I'll wreck you on it. Countering resistance. <laughs> Assist.
Open. Some help, buddy. Close one. Hey, 
APD. Thank <laughs> you. 